path, the dark one is called Hellfire Pass. The damn Hellfire. Okay, so we're out of the city now. We've gone to Tenshan Bumi. Ah, uh, Banana River. It's the war museum for the first wooden bridge that was built by prisoners of war. Japanese prisoners of war. There's a movie about it. My old man's told me about it. Alrighty. So it's it was actually named after the six countries that were involved. Jeez. Japan, England, Australian American, Thailand and Holland. Ah. There was uh, two bridges, a steel bridge and a wooden bridge. Uh, I think both of them were originally destroyed. But one of them was rebuilt. That's pretty cool. So this is the Ayutthaya period building. Uh, yes, so these two bridges were built. Railway trails, railway, railway tracks to get to Burma. Um, built by Japanese prisoners of war. Uh, wooden one is still standing, I believe you were saying. It's still almost destroyed by the Americans during bombing. Getting bombed, but it was rebuilt. So let's go have a look. Okay, so that's one of them. Uh, I don't know where the second one is. Maybe I'm just blind. I was forced to surrender when the Japanese were making their way through Southeast Asia. They didn't really have a chance, so they had to surrender. But then once the war ended, they were able to force the Japanese out. But then they had other problems with the Americans and the French and the English. You know? well, this is the first one bridge, so it doesn't go the whole way across anymore. This is the first wooden bridge of oh, simulated construction. Although I think part of this is real. And that's the steel bridge. The wooden bridge would have crossed at this point here, roughly. And that's the steel bridge. Which is still in use, I believe, so we'll have to be a bit careful when we go on that. Said that we might be here in time. Yes, it does appear to still be in use. Although, I'll have to know how they get the people off, but anyway. Side of the river, assuming that out there is, used to actually be a prison of walking. Oh. It's actually quite a tragic story the building of the bridge, or so I've heard. Let's look back into it. Dude is. Yeah. Look it up. Yikes. Three and a half hours outside of Bangkok. We are at the Erawan National Park. So there is a waterfall, hike up to the top of the waterfall, swimming at said waterfall, and just all around pure views. So we are going to go through there 
into the National Park and hopefully have an incredible time. Here we go. It's going to be quite busy there. I'm going to climb up first. Apparently there's seven different levels of waterfall. Each slowly getting higher and higher, I believe. So we'll start from the bottom and we'll just start making our way up. Oh, we're in the beautiful nature. Okay, so there's the different levels. So we're getting further and further down. Oh, and there's going to be lots of fish in there too. Now, apparently you have to wear a life jacket when you're swimming in here. It's quite deep at some point. So it is one of the hard and fast rules. But luckily there's a place to hire them. Right there. 20 baht. That's level 1 waterfall. Level two. Oh wow, that's a cool one. Level three. I should have got the life jacket before coming up here. Then at least then I could. Uh, stupid. Ah oh, well. Level 4. Keep going. I reached level 5 of 7 levels. I think my favourite one so far is the third one. Got two more to go. Let us keep on going. And the higher up we go, less people there are, funnily enough. Alright, that is a rosy. We now reach level six. This one doesn't look like you can swim at. The tune in my hand. That's cool. Oh god, that is so weird. The fish here generally just don't care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the children of the fish. <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Oh, shit. This is amazing. <laughs> so weird. So it's quarter to two. Two hours. Start making my way down. Won't go for a swing down the bottom. Just have to go back. All the way back. Let's go. Cool. This 
super beautiful gladiators. Oh, love it. I like it. Be a I'm going to be a perfectly honest. Well, it's my time here. I'm going to be heading back soon. But it's been a fantastic way to go, go about the day. Now I've almost gone to every single corner of Thailand. Now we just need to go to the north corner, which will be my next stop. Until then.